Hey guys, Special Crunch here, and today we're going to build an action game on <clears throat> Roblox. And this is for the very, very new people to the uh, Roblox building experience. Now you're going to want to do this in Roblox Studio. Um, Alright, so let's start. First thing we're going to want to do is uh, go to Inventory and go to Scroll Down and go to bricks. Now place this one right here. Right here. Just put it down. You can use this to put things, you know, just move them around. Alright. <coughs> so what we're going to want to do first is get this button right here and anchor it. So that way it doesn't fall when the world starts. Then go to this button right here, the terrain generator press clear. Then this blue uh, resize button will help us resize it of course. Just press and hold. And move the mouse of course. And you can make it pretty big but for right now let's make it reasonably small. All right. So now we have this platform, but it's completely empty, and it, and totally boring. Boring. <laughs> anyway, now go to the smooth surface, right here at the top, uh, around the top right air section, and just click the base plate with it. Then <coughs> go to the textures, change material, uh, and change it to whatever you want. You could make it tile. Or sorry, <laughs> granite. Anyway, you can make it uh, carpet, grass, whatever that is. I think that's the same thing as a uh, whoa. Okay. Anyway, but for now, I'm going to make this. Oh wait, hold on. This looks interesting. Huh. Anyway, all right. For now, I'm going to make. It's sand. And then you go to this bucket and make it whatever color you want. It could be blue, which kind of makes it look like the ocean. Or it could be uh, this orangish color. Then you go over here to your toolbox and press search. And then uh, whatever you want, really. I'm going to put uh, desert fort. Alright, so, um, I guess we can get this one. Okay, that is not going to work because it already has a spawn and we don't want it to have a gray spawn because gray spawns spawn everyone. We want specific teams, so <clears throat> that's not going to work. All right. So now we have this fort here. And you can right click and copy. And then you can press control V to paste if you want. Or you can right click and press paste. All right, I'm going to stretch this just a bit more because and you can press this uh the move parts button to move things side to side, left to right, up, down, you know, stuff like that. And now we have this. And as you can see, it's not really a full game right now. But it will be in just a moment, because we're going to add spawns. Now go to inventory, and go to game stuff and press the blue spawn or the red spawn or yellow or green whatever you want <clears throat> but for now let's choose blue and once you put down a certain color it will create a team see so watch this teams right now we have blue then we put the red down and we have a red team okay no All 
All right, and you can, uh, if you have a PC, you can right-click and just hold the right button and move around like this. All right. So, we have this here, and we have our two teams. Still kind of boring, though. Now, you can go to search and search explo ex explosions. Sorry, I'm not, I am not in my element. Explosions. All right, explosions. And you can search around. The thing I found to be interesting was this right here. This is in my recent models. I just put this really everywhere. And, um, so yeah, that, that kind of, uh, adds a bit more excitement to the game. Also, uh, press this lock button right here to lock the, the base plate, so then we don't drag it too far or anything. And that just kind of makes it more uh, exciting, because it flashes on and off, like this. And once it's on, you can, uh, if you step on it and it comes back on like that, it kills you. But then uh, you can just search for whatever gun you want and search in your toolbox. So let's say I want an RPG. Uh, this one looks really good. It looks really detailed and everything. And uh, just click it once and that message will pop up. Just once. Alright, and uh, let's say uh, pistol. Pistol. Uh, sure, that one. Alright. Ooh, this one looks good, though. Anyway, yeah, just press it once, and it will go into your inventory. And now, <coughs> there's just one more thing we need to do. And you can add whatever amount of detail you want. This is just for, you know, beginners. So it's not supposed to be too detailed. All right. Now we'll go to teams, and you can see that they're named, you know, the team color. But you could go to here, and uh, you can name it. Let's say uh, you go to properties, and you go to um. Let's say uh, the blue bros. I know that's weird and kind of stupid, but <laughs> it's funny. Red time for bed. <laughs> All right, so we have that there, and um, <clears throat> so yeah, now we have the team names and everything and the weapons. All we gotta do is go to file up here, press publish to Roblox. Just publish to Roblox, and now it's saved. And you can press F6 while you're in uh, edit mode. And this is what you can do. You can just walk around. I think this is specifically meant for first person. Uh, to go into first person, press I a lot. All right. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's an awesome gun. But we might want to get a different gun or maybe anchor that building. Okay, this isn't very good, but... Hmm. So if you find any problems like that, you can just go back and uh, edit the game again. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. See you next time when I make a, uh, roleplay, how to make a roleplay on Roblox, uh, peace.